Yeah, there's a little too much greenery around here. I don't know. What's so complicated that you're cooking? Hold your horses, man. I'm gonna tell you. Give me a second. What's going on, everybody? My name is Matt. Welcome to This Is Life YouTube channel. We do everything from car camping to hiking to adventures to stealth camping in the city next to million dollar homes. And in today's episode, we're heading to Golden Ears Provincial Park, British Columbia. We're gonna do some fishing, hopefully catch a 15 to 20 pound trout. If I catch something, I'd be happy, man. I've, I haven't caught anything this season. Been open for, what, three weeks? That's a problem. That's a problem. Yes, sir. I'm no professional angler. Quote that, but I wanna catch a fish. I wanna feel the tug of the fish. It's been a while, it's been a minute. We're gonna see what happens. I'm feeling excited. It's gonna be a good day. We're gonna find a nice little stealthy spot to uh, car camp tonight in my Land Rover. We'll be heading there. We made a pit stop at Canadian Tire. We grabbed a couple fishing goodies because this guy's got to catch a trout no matter what. I got to catch something. It's been too long. We are prepared. We're off to Pit Lake, British Columbia. Let's go. Trusty worms. Some swivels. Some hooks. Some slider weights. And some Sierra Gold. Alright, bring us to the fish, Brando. Gonna keep it simple we're gonna try the worm method let's go that is a prickly death trap but we're gonna try this calm little marshy area. Hopefully I don't fall into any water because I can't really tell what's below there. There's got to be a fish in here. Alright, wasn't very lucky with the first round of fishing, but we're going to continue on. Maybe I've been fishing for like two, three hours, I'm not sure. Not a bite, not a nibble, nothing. But, got a beautiful view to enjoy. Absolutely gorgeous. But I would love to catch a fish. That would be ideal. doing the walk of shame didn't catch anything had a bite while I was on the phone and uh, the fish got away so note to self try not to uh, fish while on the phone but until next time I'll catch a fish eventually we're gonna hit up Walmart grab some uh, some comfort food for tonight before we go find our camping spot and hunker down
have some as a snack. That is a comfort food choice. Do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yes. Have I had apple pie in forever? No, I haven't. Spot boy. Didn't even need to buy any. Here for a while here. I really wish there was big tall buildings though. You know, I think we need like more concrete pillars. I think we need uh, you know commercial buildings around here. I think that would be ideal. Yeah, there's a little too much greenery around here. I don't know. Like this stream would. What is this? What is this stream? What is? Like you, you could probably fit at least a parking lot in there. Holy, we're gonna set up the bed so I don't have to do it later. Good old camping mode button. A few moments later. Magic. The other side doesn't have that one specific button. I gotta, oh my gosh, I gotta do it myself. I know, I know, but look at that. Boom. Perfect. Not my best uh, window covers to date, but they're kind of last minute and uh, they work. Your setup does not have to be perfect. Just has to be functional. Shout out to Steve Wallace, good old step two. It is time for dinner, so we're gonna cook up. It's a difficult uh, recipe, you know, it takes a lot of ingredients, a lot of thinking, a lot of planning. You know, I'm a prepared guy, or you know, I'm prepared. What we're gonna do, we're gonna use the Jet Boil, Minimo. Excellent product, highly recommend it. You're probably wondering yourself, oh, what are you, what are you, what are you cooking, Matt? What's so complicated that you're cooking? Hold your horses, man, I'm gonna tell you. Give me a second. You gotta find a very uneven ground, and that's where you wanna place the Jet Boil, right? Boom, mac and cheese, homemade. I made it myself, I pre-packaged it. Main Street Bistro, it's just a con name, it's not actually real. Preheat the oven to 350 Fahrenheit. I don't have an oven. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna place a little bit into the uh, jet boil itself. And we're gonna slowly cook it up. Why not? There we go. There's a little bit of water at the bottom, so we're gonna turn on the jet boil. We're gonna let this pretty much kind of simmer on a low and slowly cook it out. We're gonna just let it sit for a little bit. We'll stir it occasionally, and uh, she's gonna be delicious. Taste test. Wow, that's really good. Wow, that's delicious. My stomach might not agree with it, but my mind does. And that, everybody, is how you make a gourmet camping mac and cheese in a jet boil minimum. All right, friends, it is that time to go to bed. Take my boots off, put them underneath, jump one hand, take the other boot. Not bad, not bad at all. Lock the doors. I'm gonna get under these covers and I'm gonna sleep like a baby.
you've watched all my videos up in this point even if you've watched this video up until this point thank you very much for watching it means a lot to me the next goal is 100 subscribers we'll get there soon enough i'm sure but i hope you enjoyed it please leave a like subscribe i'm going to be coming out with many more adventures at least once a week if not two videos a week just for you guys to enjoy and remember get outside go have fun go enjoy nature because this this is life peace Thank <laughs> you.